Well, hey friends, it is Mandy with Sweetly Home, and welcome to Trim Healthy Tuesday. If you are a regular viewer of my channel, hey, um, I am starting a new series here on my channel, and it is talking all about health and fitness, and most importantly, Trim Healthy Mama. I'm going to share with you my experience with the program, review of products, we're going to talk about recipes, we're going to talk about tips and tricks with the program. If you are part of my channel and you are not doing Trim Healthy Mama, can I just encourage you that there is still stuff in these videos that I think you're going to like. Um, they're healthy recipes. They are going to be things that um, I think will benefit a lot of mamas especially. For instance, today's video. I am going to share with you a recipe for an apple cider vinegar drink called Good Girl Moonshine. And big spoiler alert here, there is no actual alcohol or moonshine involved. So in real life mom kind of moments here, my little guy is in the background having his lunch, so you might hear him chitter chatter throughout the course of this video, but I'm suspecting that if you're watching, you're probably a mama too, so you know how that mom life goes. So what's the big deal about apple cider vinegar? Well, a lot. In fact, down in the description box, I will link an article that will list 13 beneficial ways that apple cider vinegar can help you, as well as eight other ways that it can help with your um, home, with your hair, with your skin, with all kinds of things that aren't necessarily internal. I mean, it's like a pretty amazing product. So here's a few things about apple cider vinegar. First of all, it promotes good bacteria in your gut, basically known as probiotics. This is good, healthy bacteria that keeps your body moving and grooving in a really good way. It regulates your pH. Regulating the pH in your body helps to resist the risk of chronic illness. Apple cider vinegar has also been shown in studies to reduce your high blood pressure. So basically it lowers your blood pressure. And it also promotes a healthy heart. Studies also show apple cider vinegar to promote fat loss and aid in sugar cravings. Let me say reduce sugar cravings. Reduce sugar cravings. It's loaded with immune boosting antioxidants and vitamins that help to keep you healthy. It also aids in your energy level, and that is definitely something that I personally find in drinking this drink. My energy level just rises. Another really great thing about apple cider vinegar is that it helps to clear your acne, and I can totally testify to this fact. I have really bad skin. I have large pores, I have redness, I'm acne prone. Even though I'm in my mid-30s, I still get acne, and let me tell you, I can tell a difference when I've been drinking my Good Girl Moonshine versus when I haven't, because my skin clears up instantly. It looks so beautiful and there's actually moments in time where I'm completely makeup free and I'm like, wow, my skin is just clear as a bell and I attribute that all to apple cider vinegar. There's so many benefits and make sure that you check that link down below because I think you're going to be blown away by all of the goodness that you're going to get into your body by using this product. But here's the thing, you are going to want to get raw, unfiltered apple cider vinegar. There's a difference between that and the pasteurized apple cider vinegar. And for all health purposes, you want the raw unfiltered. In fact, the murkier, the better when it comes to apple cider vinegar. Why? Well, that's where all the health benefits are. Inside of that apple cider vinegar is a little thing called the mother. I know, that can kind of sound really scary. And before I was doing Term Healthy Mama, a friend of mine was talking about the mother in apple cider vinegar and it thoroughly freaked me out. But it's tasteless, it does nothing but good things for you, and once you get past the idea that there is this living organism inside of your apple cider vinegar, you can drink your way to health and wellness. This is the current brand that I'm using. This is Bragg's Apple Cider Vinegar. It's certified raw organic, it's unfiltered, and the only other thing in here is water. You can kind of see how murky this is. And it's so, so, so good. So we are gonna talk today about Good Girl Moonshine and how you can get 
this little product inside of your body in a really delicious, satisfying, refreshing way. There are people that just drink this straight, and if that is you, good on ya. I applaud you. However, there are really good ways to drink this instead of just downing it straight, and we're gonna show you how to do that today. Okay, so let's talk about what you're gonna need. You are gonna need a large mason jar. You're also gonna want the ring and the lid to your mason jar. You're also gonna want tea. I love good fruit tea. I like to use the Celestial Seasonings Tea. This is all sugar-free stuff, so if you're thinking that you're gonna find a tea that has sugar in it, find something different. I really recommend the Celestial Seasonings. So the box that I get has several different varieties in it. There's peach, there's raspberry, there is a mixed berry. There's also a blueberry in there. I think that may be it. But you're gonna want two tea bags per recipe of Good Girl Moonshine. You're also gonna want ginger. Ginger is another product that you do not wanna skip out on when it comes to this drink because ginger has a lot of really good health promoting benefits as well. And adding this into your Good Girl Moonshine is just gonna make your moonshine that much more super foody and delicious. Now, I use the powdered ginger because I always just am able to keep this on hand in my spice store. However, you could also use fresh ginger. That is always a possibility. I haven't done it yet. The people who do use fresh ginger absolutely love it, but I'm just sticking with this. I, that's what I've got on hand. Next, you're gonna want your sweetener. I'm just using Truvia today. You can use any of the Trim Healthy Mama sweeteners. Um, any on plan sweetener will work in this drink. Make sure that you read the Trim Healthy Mama book to make sure that your uh, sweetener choice is on plan. Truvia is. But this is where people can really trip up. Whenever I hear somebody say, I don't like the taste of Good Girl Moonshine, it's usually because they have not sweetened it enough. This should taste like a juice. And lastly, you're gonna want some extracts. This part is totally optional, but I find that it adds just another depth of flavor to your moonshine. Rather than just the tea, you can add other flavors into it, and I really enjoy doing this. So I've got cherry extract from Watkins. I've also got coconut extract, again from Watkins. These are just found at Walmart. Lemon extract. I've got some banana extract, as you can see, I use this quite a bit. And also, I love orange extract. I am out of that one at this point because I use it all the time in my Good Girl Moonshine. But these are some of my favorites. If you want, you can also use food grade essential oils in your moonshine. Okay, so let's get started. What you're gonna wanna do is you are going to want to heat some water on your stove. So our kettle is no longer in existence, so we are just heating water in a little saucepan on the stove. If you've got a kettle, I highly recommend using it. It's much easier. You're gonna wanna fill your mason jar with about, about three quarters full with your hot water. I put my two tea bags inside of the mason jar while I wait to heat up the water, and I am just using the raspberry zinger today. That is one of my favorites. So when your kettle starts to sing or your water just starts to boil, you're gonna to wanna to pour it into your mason jar. And then you're gonna let it steep. I allow mine to steep for about 15, 20 minutes. I want a really good dark color to my moonshine. When your tea is done steeping, go ahead and remove the tea bags. I like to squeeze them out a bit just to get all of the tea into my moonshine. Next comes your apple cider vinegar. Now you're just going to want to roll it in your hands rather than shake it up. That helps to protect the mother. Now I would recommend between one and two tablespoons for your moonshine. I would first start off with one tablespoon. This is kind of potent step and if you're not used to it, it can be a little too much. I'm up to two tablespoons now but I've been doing Good Girl Moonshine now for well over a year. Next comes your ginger and you're going to want to use one teaspoon of ginger. At 
this point, I add my sweetener. I was at the tail end of my trivia today, so I just went with one tablespoon of apple cider vinegar and I finish off the trivia. But this is where you really want to make the drink your own and add as much sweetener as possible to make it taste how your palate would like it to taste. You don't want anything sour if you don't like a sour drink. Feel free to add the sweetener. It's not going to spike your blood sugar as long as it's on plan. This is the point where I usually add any extracts if I'm going to be using them. And then you're going to fill up the rest of your jar with ice cubes. If you've still got room in your jar, feel free to fill it with cold water or cold tea, or you can also add some fizzy seltzer water. Next, you're going to want to shake this bad boy up. Put on your ring, put on your lid, and shake, shake, shake to combine all of the ginger and the sweetener and the extracts together. So you're gonna wanna open up your jar of moonshine and you're gonna wanna give it a taste. This is where you really gotta own your moonshine. Is it too sour? Does it need more sweetener? Does it need another depth of flavor? Add more extracts. Could you handle a little bit more sour? Add a bit more of your apple cider vinegar. I wanted to add some more extracts, so I threw in some cherry to give it another depth of flavor. It's so crucial and important that you own this drink and make it to your taste. If it's too sour, friend, I just gotta tell you again, add some more sweetener. Great thing about this drink is it can be sipped on all day, every day. So there you have it, the delicious, delicious good girl moonshine. I hope you love it. Let me know if you try it. Let me know if you drink moonshine regularly the good girl kind. I don't want to be known about any bad kind that you're drinking. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for watching. Please leave your comments down below. Give it a thumbs up if you liked it and tune in next week for Trim Healthy Tuesday. We will share more tips and tricks for Trim Healthy Mama. deal about alcohol. <coughs> Apple cider vinegar is loaded with a is loaded with a it's loaded with a it's loaded with immune boosting no I forget. It's loaded with immune I can't say that word. It's loaded with immune boosting antioxidants and helps to Although, my uncle makes his own wine in his garage, so I don't know, there's that.